welcome to another session. So, before we are going to learn about urine formation in the kidneys, let us study about the two chemical processes, hydro, hydrostatic pressure and the osmotic pressure, pressure and osmotic pressure. So, hydrostatic pressure in the name itself, so hydro means water, static means state. So, it is the pressure of the water molecule exerted on the walls of the condo in which they pass. So, the, if we think this is as a pipe, so here water is flowing. So, the water molecules exert some pressure on the walls of the condo. So, that pressure is known as hydrostatic pressure. I think you understand what is meant by hydrostatic pressure. So, because of this pressure, water molecules try to leave this condo and enters uh, outside. So, this is very important uh, and uh, this pressure is important at the uh, arterial end at the venular end. So, at the arterial end, at the arterial end, so the water present in the blood, so that is 92% uh, of water is present uh, in the plasma. So, this water molecules try to go outside due to the hydrostatic pressure because the hydrostatic pressure is high at the arterial end. That is why the water molecules tend to leak into the interstitial fluid. They move out due to the high hydrostatic pressure at the arterial level. So, at venular level, the hydrostatic pressure is very low. That is why the water cannot move outside of the outside from the veins into the interstitial fluid. So, you have to remember at the arterial end, hydrostatic pressure is high. At the venular end, the hydrostatic pressure is less. At venular level, the osmotic pressure is high. So, let us come to know what is by meant by osmotic pressure. Before knowing about osmotic pressure, let us know about osmotic potential. Osmotic potential. So, what is meant by osmotic potential of water? So, the potential of the water molecules to move from hypotonic solution to hypertonic solution is known as osmot osmotic potential. So, the process of movement of water molecules is known as osmosis. potential of osmotic potential of pure water is zero value. So, when some solute is added to pure water, it becomes a solution. So, whenever solute is added, the osmotic potential of water in that solution becomes negative, that is it is decreased. So, remember the osmotic potential of pure water is a maximum that is zero value. The osmotic potential of water in solution is a decreased that is a negative value, zero is greater than negative value. That is why the water molecules move from higher osmotic potential to lower osmotic potential that is from pure water into the solution. In another way, we can say that the movement of the water molecules from hypotonic solution to hypertonic solution through a semi permeable membrane is known as osmosis. What is meant by semi permeable membrane? So, the membrane which allows only the water molecules to enter in and out of the cell is known as semi permeable membrane. This membrane does not allow solute molecules to move in and out. So, we have to know about hypotonic solution and hypertonic solution. Hypotonic solution is a solution in which water molecules are more and solute molecules are less. Hypertonic solution is a solution in which water molecules are less and solute molecules are more in number. Osmotic pressure. So, osmotic pressure is the tendency of a solution to take in water molecules by osmosis. So, so it is the tendency of the solution, it is the 
tendency of the solution to take in the water molecules, to take in, to drag in the water molecules. It is a pressure which drags in the drags the water molecules into the solution is known as osmotic pressure. So, due to this osmotic pressure, the, wa the water from hypotonic solution enters into hypertonic solution. So, osmotic pressure is the tendency of a solution to take in water molecules by osmosis. So, how this osmotic pressure is helpful in biology means here. So, at venular end osmotic pressure is high. So, osmotic pressure is nothing but to drag the water molecule inside. So, at venular level as the waste materials are collected in the venular blood, so con concentration becomes high. That is why the water from the interstitial fluid enters into the vein as the venular end has osmotic pressure high. So, because of this the water from the interstitial fluid is drawn inside the blood, drawn inside to the vein and ultimately into the blood. So, if osmotic pressure is absent at venular in then the water molecules does not enter into the vein and the water will be accumulated in the interstitial fluid and as a result edema occurs. Edema means bulging out accumulation of water in the interstitial fluid is known as edema. So, to prevent that edema albumin which is present in the blood plays an important role because it produces the osmotic pressure in the blood. So, if protein molecules provide osmotic pressure then that type of osmotic pressure is known as colloidal osmotic pressure or oncotic osmotic pressure. So, these two chemical processes are very important to maintain the water balance in the body. So, these two processes are also very important to understand the urine formation. Hope you understand the idea. Osmotic pressure. So, osmotic pressure is the tendency of a solution to take in water molecules by osmosis. So, so, it is the tendency of the solution, it is the tendency of the solution to take in the water molecules, to take in, to drag in the water molecules. It is a pressure which drags in the, drags the water molecules into the solution is known as osmotic pressure. So, due to this osmotic pressure, the, wa the water from hypotonic solution enters into hypertonic solution. So, osmotic pressure is the tendency of a solution to take in water molecules by osmosis. So, how this osmotic pressure is helpful in biology means here. So, at venular end osmotic pressure is high. So, osmotic pressure is nothing but to drag the water molecule inside. So, at venular level as the waste materials are collected in the venular blood, so con concentration becomes high. That is why the water from the interstitial fluid enters into the vein as the venular end has osmotic pressure high. So, because of this the water from the interstitial fluid is drawn inside the blood drawn inside to the vein and ultimately into the blood. So, if osmotic pressure is absent at venular end then the water molecules does not enter into the vein and the water will be accumulated in the interstitial fluid and as a result edema occurs. Edema means bulging out accumulation of water in the interstitial fluid is known as edema. So, to prevent that edema albumin which is present in the blood plays an important role because it produces the osmotic pressure in the blood. So, 
if protein molecules provide osmotic pressure then that type of osmotic pressure is known as colloidal osmotic pressure or oncotic osmotic pressure. So, these two chemical processes are very important to maintain the water balance in the body. So, these two processes are also very important to understand the urine formation. Hope you understand the idea.